Hi folks and welcome back. It was pointed out to me that after spending an entire episode, I think it was episode 16, making myself this lovely suit of armor and uh, iron armor that is, and sword, that I never let anyone see it. So here we go. Get ready. That's me from the back. That's me from the front. Still wearing the uh, leather boots though. I, I think they look more stylish, you know? couple other little things I want to go over here before it's too late. Um, onions and garlic. You can tell they're ripe in basically the same way. Now these are onions here? Yep. If you look down at the bottom of the stems here, um, in any of these, like, you know, there's kind of like, what am I doing here? It's kind of like four wings to the plant. If you look down at the, if you look in on one, in at an angle you can see there's only like two light colored squares at the bottom so that means it's not ready yet now if we run over here to the garlic you can see it's there's three light colored squares at the bottom and that's how you know that one's ready and indeed we got some garlic uh, I'll replant it but I don't know if there's enough time in this season for it to, uh, to come through um, the jute if we look at the date it's July 1st, so it's just the start of summer. And the jute is already like about as tall as it ever gets. So we're just waiting for it to get the yellow tips on it. So I think we're, I think there's going to be enough growing season for it. Um, because we're start of summer, so we've got all of summer and then we have all of late summer. And I think the jute can survive early fall as well. Over here to the beans, the green beans. Now you can see they look like they're doing pretty good but they're this kind of pale green here uh, they'll turn a much brighter yellower green when they're finally ready and we've done the carrots before this bright orange is ready this pale orange isn't so i won't pluck that up right now um, the yellow peppers here if we have a look at them is you can see they've actually got green peppers on them so we could harvest them now to get them as green peppers we wait just a little bit longer they'll turn yellow and then they'll be ready for harvest um, this is uh, soybean the soybean will turn a kind of a yellowish rusty color when they're ready so they're still a bit too green and my nemesis over here are the beets I can never tell with the beets um, I did kind of a practice test on one of them and I can tell that whatever state they're in now, they're not yet ripe. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll wait a couple of days and try again. Um, I also have a lot of trouble with the squash, but I can tell there's just not enough yellow on them at this point. Uh, there's another stage they'll get to where there'll be a lot more yellow, but they still won't be ripe. And that's where I start having difficulty is telling the difference between that and the ripe point. With all the greens, it's easy. They they change color. They get like more brown, kind of a golden brown color when they're when they're ripe. And is that all we have here? Oh, we have some more over here. I want to go over. The barley's another grain. Yellow pepper we already talked about. Beets, sugar cane. Uh, this one I have no idea. Um, like it kind of just looks like this and gets taller. So I don't know whether. Like if we look at this, these two back here, they're already into their second square. This first one at the front is only in the, in the bottom block, but these two back here have already grown up into the second block. So I don't know whether it's possible to, uh, shear that off and harvest some of the sugar cane right now, or whether they have to get taller. Um, I guess we do the experiment right now, eh? Oh, look, a horsey. The horsey has come down to feed. Yeah, eat up all this grass here. It's making my lawn look messy. I'm pretty sure this stuff needs to be sheared. Okay. That did not look promising. Nope, all I got was the seeds. Yeah, so it's going to have to get taller than that before we can uh, harvest it. So simply being up into the second block isn't enough. It's got to be, I guess, all the way to the top of the block. All right. Uh, let's come in here. 
Oh, and the bed. <laughs> I made the bed, but I never slept in it. So let's do that now. Ah. Uh, oh, I get an achievement for it. That's lovely. And I finally set my spawn point to my home. If you look on the map, we're here. If you look here, lots of spring. There. That's my original spawn point down there. And here's where I've been living. So I guess I can... I'll keep that there as my original spawn. But... Uh, my spawn now follows the bed. I, I want to eventually build a traveling bed to carry around with me, but I don't yet have enough. I can't make enough cloth yet. So that then leads us on to our next thing is the sheep. Okay. Uh, four grain. That's just enough. So, is I didn't breed the sheep. I was so excited about getting a bed that I didn't bother to breed the sheep. Oh, I should have kept the shears since I'm going to the sheep. Here's my hat. Where's my head? Okay. Well, if you're going to keep hanging around, Dobbin, I may actually uh, take the time out to... Uh, to tame you. Alright. Okay, so... Oh, they won't let me feed them yet. I guess it's still too early? That's kind of odd. It is green. I am pressing the shift key. Okay, I'm close enough. Okay, I guess it's I have to wait a bit longer before I can feed them. So I couldn't have fed them last night anyway, so that was fine. Alright. Put that grain away. Pick up the boat. Since we're going to do some traveling. This is going to be mostly an odds and ends episode. There's all sorts of little things like that that I want to deal with. Um, for example, let's go over to plants or the crops map over here. Oh yeah, there it is there. For instance, there's this dead fruit tree over here. Or I thought it was dead, but then later on I found this cherry and it had similarly gray bark. So I want to revisit this guy because I think he is actually live and I just got unlucky. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Let's head on over there. D, that way. Oop. Better drink and eat first. Now it should be a safe journey because I've killed off all the predators in this area. But I don't know whether predators respawn or not. So I'll keep my sword in hand just in case. Oh, something else people have asked about are all these flowers that I just ignore. Uh, let's, uh, I can probably... Oh, uh, looks like I need the... Uh, no, uh, I should have brought the shears with me. I think I need the shears to pick them up. For the most part, I think the flowers are just used for making dyes, but I don't really know. I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten too much into that part of TSC yet. Um, I mean, we do know that the uh, there are, I think, three different plants, maybe four, that tell you where uh, where there's clay. They like, whenever you see them, you know there's clay beneath. I've only shown you guys one of them. In fact, here it is right here. It's this one because it's the only one I've memorized. <laughs> I don't remember what the others are. But I don't know whether there's, you know, whether any of the other flowers have extra uses like that or not. Hmm, 
this okay this is less steep always hoping I'll find some more berry bushes along the way because the number I have now is just like you know fine you occasionally get a little snack off of it and they don't uh, they don't multiply in any way so or propagate that's the word I'm looking for use your words Dean Who's Dean, you ask? Never mind. All right. Let's go this way. But yeah, so the very bushes don't propagate, so you just have to find them. And that's it. So it would be nice to find more of them. You notice how there's still all snow here? Even though it's the middle of summer? And that is because... I haven't been back here. I, this chunk hasn't loaded since uh, since I was last here in the winter time. So slowly this stuff will melt away, just like my audience. I'm joking. I know you're all loyal to the core. You'd die for me, right? Right? If I put up a GoFundMe, would you all donate like tens of thousands of dollars? Just so I can continue to give this sparkling and witty repartee. Yeah, there we go. Dead fruit tree. I don't think you're dead at all, are you? No, look at those nice green green uh, leaves. All right. All right. No sapling on that uh, from that one. There we go. We got a sapling. And what is it? It's a cherry. Okay. Oh, speaking of cherry, all right, first let me uh, let me update my map here and then we'll get back to that. So speaking of cherry, this was where the cherry tree we have growing in our, uh, in our orchard right now uh, came off of, of this one. And I believe that they continue to fruit into summer so there's a good chance that this cherry tree here might have a bunch of cherries on it so that would be a nice source of fruit for us until for our own trees i guess it's the lemon tree will be the first one to produce anything so i'm going to head over i'm going to head to the coast here and then boogie on down over here by boat and uh see what's see if that we can get some fruit off that tree okay southward bound i want to go that's the letter s yeah must be lots of clay here. And a more snowy area. I need to get over there. Hmm. Looks like a good opportunity for doing some uh, engineering. Open up a channel here. But not today. Ooh. We have some rice up here. Some rice that's actually mature. Oh, nice with some more green for our uh, sheep when we can eventually get around to feeding them. Uh, lion over there. And I want to go, how much stuff is between me and that? So I really want to go south and around the bottom of this uh, mountainous area, if I'm able to. I missed my turn. I didn't see a way through though. I wonder where where it expected me to go through. Here I guess. Uh 
That does not look very uh, amenable to cross. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Oh, we can try and see if there's a hole down here. Probably not. There's never a hole when you need one. And indeed not. Okay. Now let's go up. Oh, one way or another we can get over this, I think. Well, that does get us over. Just try not to fall to my death while getting over. That's the thing. That's going to be the tricky part. Ooh, well, took a little bit of damage. Not too bad, though. Oh, nice little alleyway back here. And there's our cheer. And there is fruit on it. Yes. All right. Cool. Cool, cool. And it's time to, for a drink as well. Not much fruit, though. Looks like it's at its end. Is that it? Was just the one? <laughs> I think that's it. I think I just get one cherry off of it. Oh, cruel fates. Oh, one cherry's better than nothing, eh? Five days, three days. So I should continue eating these, uh, these red peppers for now. Okay, uh, the other thing I wanted to do is there's all these uh, jutes we can see floating around here. And those are places where I found some jute, and for the most part, uh, they were not ripe. I found some usually one or two ripe plants at each location, but they mostly were not ripe. Let's back out here. So when you see we've got a total of four sites, yeah. So what I want to do is run around to those because by now they should all be ripe. And so let's collect all that jute up and uh, use it to uh, augment what will hopefully be our homegrown supply soon. Just farming a bit of weed. Hi, pig. Yeah, run away. You're not on my menu tonight. Eventually, but not tonight. Those hyenas over there. Oh yeah, they got the yellow tips, see? So these ones are ready. Oh, not there. There it is. One. Two. How am I doing on seeds? Ah, got three seeds for two plants. What's my, uh, I don't know, I want levels. Oh, I'm now up to agricultural expert. I wish it gave me more actual harvest, or maybe it did. Oh yeah, I got seven jute off those two plants. So it's probably helping out with that as well. Okay, I don't need this jute marker here any, anymore, so let's get rid of it. And then proceed on down to that one, which is due south of us. And someone pointed out in the comments that that some of the animals are only aggressive at night which may mean I haven't looked it up but that some of them are only aggressive during day but since there are at least three hyenas there and probably at least more like four and it's currently night I don't think I'm going to test that out yet if the sun comes up while we're still in the area, I'll give it a test. Oh, some more red peppers. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, we might as well pick them up. All right, where's this other jute? The other side of the wall. Really should keep my sword in hand. Ah, wolfies. Yeah, eventually have to get around to uh, taming some of you as well. So much to do. So little virtual time. Actually, no, there's tons of virtual time. Problem is real time. IRL time. Yeah, over there. There it is. And it looks like it's ready to be harvested as well. Yep. Cool. Now the reason that I'm removing these jute locations from the map once I've harvested them is because just because they've grown there before doesn't make it any more likely that they'll grow here again. The only thing it indicates is that the, you know, the biome and the environment was sufficient for jute, but you know, anywhere in this, in the same environment is, it's as likely to appear as here. So there's no point in keeping them on the map. They just clog things up. All right. This one is almost due east of us. East is that away. There we go. 314 meters. And I think I want to go off this way. Hmm. Except for the bit about dying, if I go that way. That's the part I don't like. So let's go this way instead. Given the choice between dying and not dying, I choose not dying. There's some, some kind of crop up there. Yeah, more sheep. I've got my sheep now. I don't need you guys anymore. Yeah, now watch me get home and my sheep are now too old to breed. And then I, that'll make me... Uh, change my tune. So this is an example, this is wheat, and this is an example of it ripe, and up here is an example of it not so ripe. So I can go ahead and harvest this. I, oh, here's another ripe one, good. So I'm going to mark these on the map. Just like this, right? Okay, where we're heading? We're heading to that jute over there. Oh look, more rice. Huh. More ripe rice. Oh, lots of it. Cool. Do 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 do. Ah, good. This will keep our. Uh, Keep our sheep fed until our own harvest can come in. Our own harvest should not be that far off now. Oh yeah. So and like how am I supposed to get up there? <laughs> uh, I think we will just call that label that as aspirational rice. It's only, you know, it's only only useful in, in our imagination. So more hematite. And something... Okay. All right. So we're going to try it. It's daytime here. If we look over there, there's a saber tooth. Is the saber tooth going to attack me? Look at me being all brave and stuff. Nope. In fact, he runs away from me. Okay, so yeah, so saber tooths don't attack during the day. I still hate that sound, though. Hard to turn my back on them. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what were we doing? Jute. Am I still going east? Yes, I'm still going east. Good.
Yeah, up until now, I've I mostly walk. I only run when something's chasing me because that burns through your uh, your health bar faster. But now I'm starting to get to the point where I've got enough food that I can do more running around. So we'll be able to get from point to point a little bit faster. These should be potatoes. There's a flower that looks very much like them, but no, nope, these are potatoes. Excellent. Speaking of having lots of food. The other nice thing about potatoes is we can make vodka from them. Vodka. Russian champagne. And oh, it looks like there are two here. No, just the one. Oh, there's gold down there. Well, that's something else I wanted to talk about, but uh, might as well talk about it now. Oh, I can do it right here. Just be sure that it is gold. It is indeed native gold. Cool. Um, there's a bunch of things we need before we can advance any further with our metallurgy. Um, eventually, we will need gold, but we don't need gold right now. Uh, it's still nice to have found it, though. So we're going to need uh, something called kaolinite. And I don't won't, don't see any around here. It's uh, It will show up as l kind of light pink, a very pale pink stripes mm -hmm. running through the rock at an angle. And we also need graphite, which is kind of a bluish you know, it shows up as a bluish vein in the rocks. And they only show up in certain rock types. Graphite can only be found in uh, metamorphic rocks and not even all of them. So the ones that can be found in are schist, quartzite, marble, and gneiss. Kaolinite can be found in any of the sedimentary rocks. So chalk, chert, claystone, conglomerate, dolomite, limestone, rock salt, and shale. Oh, we got another little bush here. Cloudberry or... Which one is that? Cloudberry, yep. I think I have one more jute location left. And that's it there. So it's northwest from here. Go northwest, young man. I think that looks like the best way to get through over there. I oh, have a boat, might as well put it to use. Whee, I can run! Run for a strong... Oh, I need water. I need a drink. Can't really run when I'm thirsty. Eat a bit. Refill that. Okay. Now forest can run. kind of rock this is. Let's find some place where I can mine some without it falling on my head. Let's just do it here then. Okay, what kind of rock is that? Rhyolite, that. Don't need no me no rhyolite. Okay. 
You're really going to make me go through that? Oh, I, if I remember correctly, isn't there a cave down here? Or is this the same, same stuff as before? Yeah, let's just go around it. All right. Problem with trying to run, of course, aside from it burning up your endurance, is every time you don't time the jump just right, you drop out of running mode. There you go. Okay, now that hole I know I can get through, so we'll go do that. We're back to our cherry tree. Which, alas, did not uh, seek to, or deign to grace us with uh, more cherries. But at least we can cut through here. More considerate. Yeah, if I can get together enough jute, I want to actually try making burlap and see if I can make bed out of burlap. Okay. Now that would sort of be appropriate, you know, for a traveling bed. Traveling bed's more rough and ready. And there's another one here. Yeah, I need something else. I, I, I think I need the shears to collect those things. Uh, but that is scouring brush or reed, scouring a reed or something like that. Which you can also collect, but I don't think it does anything at the moment. I don't know whether they have plans to make it do anything either. But in the olden days, it was actually used as a scouring, as a scouring brush for cleaning things. But there's not really anything to clean in TFC. Uh, here we go, and yes, this stuff is ready too. Jute is also ready. More scouring brush. More scouring horsetail, or I can't remember what it's called. And that's it for that jute. Let's knock him off. And now we can head home. There's our home there. So due north and throw a boat in the water. Oh, another fruit bush. Wintergreen? Looks like wintergreen to me. Could be strawberry. It is strawberry. Oh, that's better. I like strawberry more than wintergreen. Not for any game reason, just in real life. Because it's strawberries are sweeter and I like sweet. Oh look, we got some exposed copper over here. Just for the heck of it, let's see what kind of a uh, vein it is. Uh, it's just regular. Okay. All right, let's make sure we're in waters that will get us home. Yes, indeed we are. And then home we go. Would you like me to sing you sea shanties while we travel? I thought not. Uh, a lot more to the west.
Not that I know any sea shanties. I know a few lines from Barrett's Privateers. Not exactly a sea shanty, but you know, close enough. This is so much faster when you're not having to lead animals with along the way. Oh, we go. Grab the rope. Okay. Throw the boat in there, throw that stuff in there. processed. Good stuff. I have a couple of bushes to be put down. A cloudberry and a strawberry. So let's go plant those. My strawberry collection grows. My cloudberry collection grows. Very nice. If we come over here and look at our crops, let me... Uh, let me light up our lives first and get something to drink. These are now a much brighter yellow, so I think they're done. These are the green beans. Indeed, the green beans are done. Ready, that is. Ripe. Not that little in there, though. Oh, and I got four beans. Or four seeds, rather, from three plants. Yeah, my expertise is really paying off now. Um, all these yellow peppers are ready. Well, not all of them. Most of them. Let's just leave those for now. The onions are now ready. Because you can see, if I come inside, look at a side here, that there are there are three, three light-colored... Uh, spots on each of the uh, fins. We'll, we'll harvest our onions. And that gives me onion seeds out the wazoo. Excellent. Whoops, I just harvested. Oh, you can do that again? Okay, here's something that <laughs> is kind of reverted in TNG. So, it used to be with the peppers um, once the pepper plant had grown, you could just pluck the peppers off of it and leave the plant behind and it would grow more peppers. And then Biox changed that so that you had to uproot the entire plant, same as anything else. But apparently the TNG boys, I shouldn't say that, I don't know if they're all boys, TNG folk uh, switched it back again. Cool. And I still get seeds, right? Yeah, that's what's floating around there. Um, all right, let's go inside and dump off a few things so I have room in my inventory. And I'll collect this, these seeds before they despawn. Tomatoes are not bright enough red yet. And over here we can see the soybeans. What I meant about them is they turn this kind of golden rusty yellow kind of color which is cool all right where are the seeds from you guys ah there there soybean seeds i did not get any extra of those which is a shame because i have very few of them none of my jute is ready yet All right, let's go get our grain sorted out and see if we can breed the sheep yet. Actually, let's just empty out all these seeds. We can come back and plant them later. 
There we go. Uh, and the nice thing, I think I mentioned this in an earlier episode, but the nice thing about the soybeans is that they count as protein when you eat them. Yeah, hold shift for nutrition info, and you can see protein 1.0, which is nice. So, it's the only, I bl believe it's the only plant in the game that uh, is a protein source. Uh, right, I have all of this rice here. Oh yeah, I need a knife. My last stone knife. Not like I can't make one easily enough, but I want to make a metal one. So let's go feed the sheep, or try to at any rate, and see if we can breed them. Okay, boys, is now the time? Yep. Yep. Oh, but they don't want to get on with the love making yet. Okay. So being having them be familiar with me is good enough for me to shear them, but I have to get like just a low level familiarity, but I have to get to a higher level before they can be bred. Okay. I can do that. And that should wrap it up for this episode. I'm gonna <laughs> try and find some room <laughs> to plant all those additional seeds I came up with. Oh, I got room out here. I can uh, make more land here. Oh, and did our juke get processed? Yes, it did. Okay, well, no, nope, we're not gonna halt yet. Not quite yet. So 12 jute to make a piece of burlap, but I, in order to test to see if I can make a bed, I would need three pieces of burlap. And I only have five more jute fiber here. See, we get burlap cloth. Now it does call it cloth, which is why I'm hopeful I can actually use it to make a bed, but um, but I've only got these five here and one that I had left over from before. So I have to wait until our jute harvest comes in before we can finish testing that out. And now, now, for real, we get to call it an episode. I hope you had fun. Maybe learned a few things. Maybe you got to laugh at me for some reason. I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get. And I hope to see you back for the next episode. Bye now.